Ladies and gentlemen, Keith from iRepair Autos. Today I'm going to be showing you some DTC codes for your ESP warnings that you may be getting on your Mercedes. Your ESP warning lamp is going to be on. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'm on the right side of the car. And there's a sensor here, that's for the level. We're not focused on that. We're focused on another sensor. It's right there, see it? There's a plug on there, sometimes that plug gets corroded. Sometimes it may get some liquid in there, some moisture in there. So that's the pressure sensor right there for the ESP module. First step, we got to remove this section here. And it's easy enough to take up this rubber mount there. This bolt right here, 10 millimeter socket. Depress this, bring it up, pop this out over here like that, and bring it up. Make sure my camera work is good. So, looking, zooming out, depress that, bring this up, and then bring this up. Once those two are up, you just slide the whole thing up and out. Once we have better access, some shops will charge for taking out the whole booster line that's crazy work see these sensors here i'm going to talk about those in an upcoming video so if you're not yet subscribed subscribe and at the icar soft scanner i go into diagnose mode i say okay bends i have a w164m gasoline Left hand steering. I go down to my model. Say okay. I'm gonna to go to manual select. I don't need to load all the modules and I know exactly where I need to go. Scroll down until you see ESP electronic stability. Okay. Say okay. And the first thing you wanna do is go in and read your faults. I'm gonna say okay and B34 ESP brake pressure sensor. It's an electrical fault and it's one of one. So that's the only error we're getting. Now, first thing I want you to do is clear the fault. It's gonna come back and say, do you really wanna clear the fault? You say, yep. And it's gonna say clear trouble code successful, right? Let's go back one by saying okay. Let's go back up and read the fault. That fault comes right back. That's because the problem still exists. So we're gonna say okay. Go back one by hitting escape. Go down to actual values. And we're gonna go to ESP sensor. And here we go. So we have a travel sensor a B34 ESP brake pressure sensor. It's registering 194.88, okay? So it is measuring something, just that it's not the correct value. So what we're gonna then do is go back one. We're gonna go back one. check our voltage supply circuit and it is getting voltage so we know we're getting voltage to that brake booster module etc right now it's at 11.78 volts if I was to start up the car and this car has been sitting for a while I haven't driven it because of you know what virus it would be fully charged so 
I'm going to say escape. I'm going to switch this for a minute. And that's going to show you all your stop lamps. Right? Your ESP off switch is not operated right now. Um, so that shows you whether or not that ESP off switch is off. Uh, and that's basically this guy, okay? If I push that guy, see it says operated. Operated, not operated, as I push it. Anyway, let's go back. Let's go back to our ESP sensors. Still at 194. If I put my foot on the brake pedal, see how it moved a little? But not much. It should be much more operational than that. All right, so let's get out of that. Get out of that. Those are the actual values. Let's go back to read in the fault. Now let's let's be a little um, thoughtful about what this says. ESP brake sensor electrical fault. So that means that there's a problem with the sensor. Okay, the sensor itself. We already saw that we have voltage, but the sensor itself is the fault. So what we need to then do is go investigate, switch that sensor out. Or just look at the connection. Sometimes those connections get corroded. And for the purpose of this video, I have disconnected the uh, sensor electrical connection from the sensor to simulate a electrical fault. So it's not getting any signal whatsoever. The sensor in this case is good. However, because there's no electrical connection, it simulates a corroded connection, a dirty connection, dirt in the system, moisture, water in the system. And that's why this comes up. It also comes up with an exclamation point inside the car. All right, so this is the brake booster um, reservoir right here. Brake booster is right there. Now, I'm going to take you down inside and I'm going to show you the electrical connection. So let me get my camera down in there. And see how I have that sensor slightly pulled apart? That's simulating the bad sensor, but that's the sensor right there. And it's a tight fit. Um, it would be best to remove this slave um, connection here. And that slave connection is held in place by one bolt there with the blue. And then on the opposite side. Another bolt down there. And we're gonna, in a future video, we're gonna talk about that sensor right there and the sensor down below. Make sure you subscribe so we can go through these things, have any questions you ask. But that's the ESP pressure sensor right there that I just showed you, right there underneath the slave cylinder. And the electrical connection is right there. I just have it slightly ajar. Um, make sure you take that off, clean that connection out, and then if you need, you can change that sensor out. But you need to remove the uh, slave cylinder. So I'm going to go ahead and reconnect. And how I connected and re how I disconnected and reconnected it was by standing slightly above the car, taking my right hand going in reaching down connecting it like that I'm gonna take 
this and I'm going to put it back in place remembering that it clips on right there just this connection here clips on make sure all these hoses are not kinked if it feels like it's fighting you it is and that's a clip here and that's a clip here okay go let's put this back down and then we bolt everything in place take our 10 millimeter bolt plastic into metal don't go too crazy on it there we go okay so once Everything is back, your sensor is installed. Put it back, put the ignition to on. Don't start it. Go back into your scanner again. I'm gonna go back one. I'm gonna read the values again. Let's see if it automatically updated itself. Nope, that's gonna remain there, right? DTCs sometimes hang around forever until you clear them. So once you've done the job, go back one, go down to clear faults, ignition is on, engine is off. Okay. Say okay. Clear, uh, clear trouble codes unsuccessful. Hmm. Let's go to actual read value. Still ESP brake sensor. Clear fault code. Clear trouble code successfully. So the first time I tried it, it did not clear it. Now let's go back. No DTCs. You want to always check clear your DTCs. So now that it's all so now that it's all set back in the ESP program, we're gonna go inside. We're gonna go down to actual values. We're gonna go down to the ESP sensors. And now, see the values we're getting? B34 ESP brake sensor is now down 0 0.19. Put my foot on the brakes. See, now we're getting 39 point, And it's between 1 and it's all over the place. But it's less than 0 when you don't press it. And then it goes all the way up to th in the 30s. And that's slightly um, different based off of the quality of the fluid, your elevation, and how hard you press the brakes. So if I press it slightly, it's down in the zeros. If I press it a little higher, it goes all the way, all the way, all the way up. As always, everyone, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel if you find these videos helpful. What that does, it pushes my videos up in the search results so that other Mercedes owners, drivers, do-it-yourselfers can find them easier. Thanks and peace out.